right, Mathletes. So it's been about a week since you got this product right here. And it reminds you of the times, the times, not the New York Times, but the current times. All right, so let's go ahead and let's solve this because you've had enough time. And if you haven't seen this before, go ahead and press pause and try to crack the code. All right, so let's get into business here. So let's look at this problem. So what I'm gonna do when I start to solve this is I'm just, I'm not that good at drawing. So I'm gonna say every time I see a paper towel, I'm gonna call that P. Every time I see a toilet paper roll, I'll call that T. And every time I see a hand sanitizer bottle, I'll call that H. All right, so let's go ahead and let's solve this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the easiest because that's what we do in math. Right, we start with the easiest. So I'm gonna start with the second equation, the paper towel equation. So notice we have one, two, three paper towels and we're adding them, right? So it's three paper towels. So we have three P equals 18. So three times what number equals 18? Well, we know that three times six. So paper towels, each paper towel is worth six. And no, they're not hiding anywhere. There's not extra paper towels. I don't have to zoom in and zoom out and play tricks with you. This is just six, six, six. I didn't mean for that to happen, but there it is. All right. So each paper towel is worth six. So this guy is worth six. All right. Hand sanitizer. I'm going to continue with equation three. And I've been looking at the comments and people getting been getting down with their skills, some creativity, I love it. So each hand sanitizer bottle, like we said, is H. But look what's happening this time. We're multiplying. So H times H, we're not adding, is H squared, right? H to the second power. But then we're multiplying by another H. So here you have H times H times H, so we have H cubed equals eight. So basically we're saying what number times itself? Three times gives you eight. Well, two times two times two. So H equals two. But I want you guys to read the comments, right? Some people did some nice algebra uh, to solve this, all right? And so check the, take a look at the comments from the, the last video and maybe I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show it at the end because I'm sure some people want, want to see that. So paper towels equals six. The hand sanitizers equals two. Now from the drum roll, now for the drum roll. <laughs> Toilet paper, the money maker. So we have T squared plus T plus T equals 15. And the most popular answer, I believe, was three. And we could plug it in and let's see. Does three squared plus three plus three, does that equal 15? That was the most popular answer. And so let's check it out. So three squared is nine. Nine plus three is 12 plus three is 15. So they were half right. Oh my goodness. Why half right? That wasn't the only answer. I'll prove it in a minute. So one of the answers, so one of your answers for T, T was equal to three. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and plug those into our grand finale, our last equation here. All right, so let's see. We know toilet paper is worth six, plus that, sorry, paper towels worth six, plus the toilet paper, which we just found out, one possibility is three times H, and we know the hand sanitizer is two. So that's six plus three times two, right? You gotta multiply before you add. If you need more help on that, I got a video of the order of operations below. Check it out. So we end up with six plus six. So grand finale of one of our possible answers, our final possible answer for one of them is 12. And that was the most common answer. So good. If you got 12, you were halfway there. But there's one more. Check it out. Show them what they missed, Johnny. 
So what happens if I let t right, equal negative 5? So check this out. Negative 5 squared is positive 25 plus negative 5, which now gives positive 20, right? So negative, tw negative 5 squared is 25 plus negative 5. When I add those two, that's going to give me 20. And then plus another negative 5 that grand total is 15. So not only could t equal three, but t could also equal negative five. And that's the one people missed. So now let's plug in the negative five into our last equation. So we end up with, I'll write this in red, six plus negative five times two. So doing the order of operations, we end up with six plus negative five times two. Oh, I just wrote the same thing. So this right here is negative 10. So we end up with six plus negative 10. And so six plus negative 10 is negative four. So if you got those two answers of 12 and negative four, then you are truly a math geek. All right, folks. So if you wanna see what the other folks did, a few of them, very few, uh, they were this close to getting it right. They got the right answers, but their process was a little bit off, but still freaking awesome job, right? With using your algebra skills. So check out what they did. All right, so let me grab these three equations. Uh, we got t squared, let's just copy it all down. Let's set this to a new page here. All right, so check out what they did. We knew that toilet paper squared plus toilet paper plus toilet paper was 15. That was our first equation. I'm not gonna draw all that, I'm not that great at drawing. Then I knew that paper towel plus paper towel plus paper towel was equal to 18. All right, because each of those paper towels are worth six. And then, I knew that hand sanitizer times hand sanitizer times hand sanitizer equals, uh, what did we say that was equal to? Eight. And then our last line where we had paper towel plus uh, toilet paper times hand sanitizer and that's what we were looking for. All right, so the big question that people wanna know is how in the heck did they know to get two answers for this. Well, in math, this right here is a quadratic uh, equation because the biggest exponent you see is two, all right? So what you do is when you have a quadratic, the most popular technique to solve that, the most popular technique is you set one side equal to zero. So check this out. We have t squared plus here you have t plus t, which is 2t. I need a pencil. 2t. And then what we're going to do is, uh, I just told you, we set one side equal to zero. So we're going to subtract 15 to both sides. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. So minus 15. And that is equal to zero. And there's quite a few techniques to solve this. You can use a quadratic formula. Some of you probably had to sing a song to that back in high school. And so you blocked it out of your memory, brought back bad memories. And some of you know how to factor, right? So let's find those mother factors. And so if we were to factor this, we would get T times T, and then you would get plus five, and then you would get minus three. And what we did there is we were looking for two numbers, right? That multiply to give you negative 15. So five times negative three, they give you negative 15 when you multiply it. But at the same time, when you add these two numbers, they gave us positive two. And so now we have these two factors. So you set those two factors 
equal to zero. And now you can solve each one. Uh, bringing you some of you back to the day. Where were you? What were you doing in your math class? I'm, I'm interested. How was your math experience? And then over here we're gonna add three, add three. And you get t equals three. So these were our two possible values for the toilet paper rolls, all right? And that's how we solve it algebraically. So hopefully you uh, found this interesting. Some of you like, you took that way too damn far, but it's all good. We got nothing else to do, right? Let's learn some math. <laughs> so thanks for joining me and we'll see you mathletes in the next video. Peace.